Leroy Jackson, man, from Gorilla Records. And get away, I'm trying to make sure that everything springs before I get out here saying free, nigga. I ain't trying to say free no rap or none of that, so I'm checking in on this shit all the way. A lot of y'all don't know who Leroy Jackson is. Well, y'all go look him up. He's a drug kingpin up out of Alabama. He had a PPP loan case where he was accused of scamming the, uh, the PPP loan protection for $23,000 while he was in the feds. And it's looking like he ain't going to be doing no more prison time. You know, they gave him more probation, you know. But uh, speed y'all up on the case. He got locked up a couple months back. As soon as he got released from prison, uh, when the PPP list came out, people around Mobile went looking up at the addresses. And his name was on the uh, list because he gave his real uh, name. And his business wasn't even there, so they knew he didn't have no business. So he ended up admitting to it. But he the same cat. Like in 2004, he got booked for a conspiracy to push 250 kilos of cocaine from Texas, uh, the Mobile Preacher. And that's how he got banned. Because like 10, 15 niggas snitched on him including C now and some plugs from Texas. And some of them niggas got life sentences, 30 years, 10 years. And C now only caught six. So what that tell you? And he had sold over 20 something bricks he admitted to. But you know, he said he was just a runner. And you know, the whole Gorilla Records was just a cover up for drug trafficking. I'm going to play y'all some clips, and y'all tell me what y'all think. But, yeah, man, that shit was crazy. You know what I mean? That boy, Leroy, Vidal, Jackson, ain't going to be serving no more time. They're going to have to release that boy. He really already out, but he just going to be doing some old paper. You know what I mean? I'm going to play y'all the clip. No prison time for that convicted felon who admitted to defrauding the government. He said he stole more than $20,000 in COVID-19 relief funds while he was in prison. Leroy Jackson pleading guilty last year to conspiracy to commit wire, wire fraud. He admitted making up a phony business to get money from the Paycheck Protection Program. He was actually in prison during that time that he said he owned the business. Jackson's going to have to serve three years on probation, and he's also going to have to pay back the Small Business Administration more than twenty. $23,000. Yeah, man, y'all heard that, man. That's that boy, uh, Gorilla Records, you know what I mean? Uh, Leroy, man, he ain't gonna be doing no more time. But yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think about it in the comments, peace of mind. All the way I checked in on that shit, all the way around the board, bro, before I do that, I'm like, I'm a real nigga. Did the same nigga pick me up from prison, pick money in my pocket, all that, like, had me scrape when I got out. You feel me on blood? 